Blueprints, Assembly Work Instructions, Lesson 2. At the end of this lesson, you will be tested using the following evaluation criteria. Number 1. Properly identify each part of the blueprint and explain their function. Number 2. Identify the revision information found on the blueprint. Number 3. Identify where to find the blueprint's notes blocks. Number 4. Correctly explain how to interpret the dash number table. Number 1. Properly identify each part of the blueprint and explain their function. At Red Dot, we produce many custom products, so we rely on work instructions such as blueprints to get information on how to build the part needed. A blueprint is used to control the characteristics and specifications for the part itself, any required subassemblies, the bill of materials, and the assembly. It is the reference for all manufacturing operations at Red Dot and is the reference source of revision information for each model unit Red Dot produces. When looking at the blueprint for a part, you'll see a drawing of the part in its dimensions. This is a multi-view drawing, so there are also other views, set to a certain scale, to give a better reference for the part's dimension, and to help you better understand what the part looks like when complete. Looking at the top right of the blueprint, first, you will see the initials for the production planner who approved the part for production. The revision block contains all engineering changes made to the part. Inside, you'll see a letter or letters given to each revision. Next to the revision letter in the same row is the date that revision was made. Now, on the bottom right of the blueprint, you'll see the dash number grid. Look to the number in the column to find which model of that unit gets what parts. Near the bottom of the dash number grid, you'll find the part name, which includes a brief description of the part. Below the part name is the model number given to the completed red dot unit this is a part for. In the corner, we have the part number or drawing number. This is the unique engineering control number used to identify the part and the drawing. The drawn by box contains the initials of the person who drafted this document. The checked by box shows the initials of the engineer that checked the drawing for accuracy. The small numbered triangular flags represent notes and can include torque specifications, assembly and quality instructions, among other comments. The next assembly block identifies the engineering number of the next part in the process, if the part is going into a sub-assembly. It will take some time to become familiar with every part of the blueprint and what it means to the unit. Make sure to ask your coworkers, lead, and supervisor if you have any questions regarding the blueprint and the information contained in it. In the meantime, let's go back and highlight specific parts of the blueprint. Number 2. Identify the revision information found on the blueprint. Looking back at the revision block, the latest revision can be found on the bottom, with the date along with it. To be sure you aren't building the wrong part, it is very important to match the revision to the routing slip for that part, and then build according to the information found in the print. If the revisions do not match, notify your lead so they can fix the issue. You can also find comments on what was changed between revisions on the side of the revision block. This lets you see how the unit has changed over time. If you have any questions about the parts revision and any doubts about it being correct, always verify the information with your lead to be sure you are building the correct part. Number 3. Identify where to find the blueprint's notes blocks. 
Look back to the flag notes on the blueprint. They are listed in order in the notes block. You'll want to look at these notes every time you are building the part, as they contain important additional information about the part you are building and almost always include notes regarding the quality of the product. Sometimes the flags will be noted on the blueprint on certain spots of the part. Just be aware the flag note is there, check the number, and look to the note block for the information for that note. Number 4. Correctly explain how to interpret the dash number table. The dash number table contains a grid which includes all of the materials needed for that unit. Think of it as the blueprint's bill of materials. Each revision or dash number has its own column, and the number of parts needed for that revision will be cross-referenced to the part number on the side. The intersection between the dash number and part number is the specific quantity required of that material to build the part. If you are unsure how many of something you need to build the part, simply find the part number you are looking for, follow it across the dash table until you reach the column for the dash number given to the revision for that model of unit. If you have any questions about the dash table or how to use it, make sure to ask your coworkers or lead for more information. Before we're done, let's go over the evaluation criteria for blueprints. Number 1. Properly identify each part of the blueprint and explain their function. Number 2. Identify the revision information found on the blueprint. Number 3. Identify where to find the blueprint's notes blocks. Number 4. Correctly explain how to interpret the dash number table. This concludes the lesson on blueprints. Assembly work instructions, lesson 2. If you have any questions, be sure to ask your supervisor or coworkers for guidance, and thank you for your contribution toward making Red Dot a better company.